So I'm actually an AI avatar, and you can make something just like me completely for free and use me to create a fully automated YouTube channel. And in this video, the real me, that's me, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually create the likeness of your AI avatar. So what you'll end up with after all this is done is just a still image of exactly what your AI is going to look like. And luckily, you don't need to be some designer to do this or even a chat GPT master. Just head on over to chatgpt.com and inside the prompt box, write something like this. It says, help me write a text to image prompt for a realistic AI avatar that looks like, and then just describe what you want your avatar to look like. Or if you're lazy, just go to the description of this video. And down there, I have a prompt already written out for you. You can just customize it and just copy it from there. Either way, once you have something copied, we're gonna use this website to actually generate the image. This is leonardo.ai. Now there are lots of AI image generators out there, but the reason I'm bringing this one to your attention is because on the free plan, you get a lot of credits or a decent amount of credits for this website to be able to generate lots of images. And that's not true for a lot of the other image generators. So we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Now, once you sign up for an account, which is very straightforward and easy to do, you'll then have a dashboard that looks like this. And this is where you can actually generate your images. This is what you're gonna to use to create the image of your AI. Now, I've made a lot of mistakes when I first used this. So let me show you how to use this the right way so you don't waste your credits like I did. So up here at the top, you'll notice that there is a box up here. This is where you can paste in the prompt that I gave you or that you generated with ChatGPT. And coming down here, you'll see that these are some of the images it creates if you don't change any of the default settings on the left. So this is what it created for me. Um, I think that I originally had it with a nose piercing, which wasn't coming out very well at all. So I eliminated that. And then I came up with these images. Now looking at these images, you can see that they're not hyper-realistic at all. You know, they kind of have that AI look to them but I don't think that matters so much because when we make the AI talking head videos for YouTube, people are gonna know that it is AI. They're not gonna be fooled. They're not gonna think it's a real person and that's okay. We're not trying to fool them. However, if you want something a lot more realistic than this, I was able to do something pretty decent right here. I think these look a lot more realistic. So in order to get something like this, on here on the left, you wanna change some settings. So first under mode or model, I should say, slash preset, you wanna make sure that you select the one that says portrait perfect. Once you have that selected, you can close out and you can leave the style as the default style right here. And the contrast you want as medium, you can just leave it at medium. For generation mode, you can't change it. It's gonna be stuck on fast under the free plan. Under image dimensions, you wanna change it to 16 by nine. That's ideal for YouTube. And again, medium right here is the best resolution that you can have. The large resolution uh, requires a paid plan. So nothing else you can really change. And then paste in your prompt and click on generate. And you should get images that look like these ones right here, the same aspect ratio, the same like hyper-realistic look. In particular, I think I liked this one right here the most. So that is the one that I ended up downloading. Now, once you do this once, you don't have to do it again. If you like the way the image looks, the way the avatar looks, you're done. But if you get results that you're not happy with, you can modify them. You can change the prompt up here. Spend a little bit of time here because this is important. You wanna make sure that the avatar you end up with is one that you really like before you actually download it. Now, once you actually download it, it's time to actually bring this image to life. And for that, we're going to use this website right here. This is going to take your image, like the image I have right here, and actually add movement to it, like we see right here. This is really, really cool. So this is the website right here. It's called Hallelujah. I'm not quite sure how to say it, but I will have a link to it in the description down below. And again, you will have to sign up for an account but it is free. Now, once you have an account, click on the left here where it says create video. And then from here, this is where all the magic happens. So click on right here to upload an image. 
and I will take the image that I just downloaded, which is this one, and I will open that here. And then from here, you want to actually add in this prompt. I'll say, looking at the camera, talking with slight head and hand movement. And I also put in here, the camera is static and doesn't zoom in or out. Because prior to doing this, when I didn't have that prompt in there, you can see in this video right here that it actually zoomed in like too much and it was way too awkward. So I just wanted the, the video to be static, just the person talking directly into it without the camera moving. So once you have all that in there, the image and the correct prompt, go ahead and click this button down here and that will actually start the generation. I've already done that. You can see my end result for it right here. So let's take a look at what it looks like. That's pretty cool, right? It take that image and actually brought it to life. However, we're not done yet. We are very, very close to being done because of this, you know, she's just moving her lips. She's just doing some movement. But if you just put a voiceover to this, it won't match what her lips are doing. So for that, we use a, another website that works some really awesome magic to actually be able to sync up the lips with what you want the image or the video to actually be saying. So the website we use for that is called Dreamface. This is it right here. Again, I will have a link for this in the description of this video if you can't find it. Um, there's a few different options how you can use this. You can see that it's available on the App Store, Google Play, but I just use a desktop version. I clicked right here and that opened this up right here. Now, once you have this, you wanna click over here where it says photos and videos and actually choose the video that you just downloaded that you made over here on this website. So I've done that. I have the video in here, right here, as you see. Nothing about it has changed so far, but now it's time to actually add a voice to this. So there's two options here, how we can do this. You can either upload an audio file yourself and uh, actually, I guess there's three ways to do this, but you can either upload an audio file yourself you know, you record something with your own voice and put it in here. That's what I did for the intro for this video. Or you can record directly in the browser. So you can just record it right here, click record and actually use your own voice for this with this option. But if you don't want to use your own voice, you rather use an AI generated voice, uh, click right here where it says text and just type in what you want it to say. So that's what I chose to do for this one. I typed in here. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel. That's what I put in there. And then down here, you can actually choose a voice that you want to use. So clicking on this, I'm going to select female and let's listen to the different choices. Hello, welcome to dream face. 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 Hello, welcome. So I think I like Lisa the best. So that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to click confirm for that. And then you can click on generate. So I personally prefer to upload my own audio or record it directly in here. I think it just sounds a little bit better. There's definitely better text-to-speech uh, websites out there that sound more realistic, but they do cost money. So that's why I think if you're trying to do this completely for free, you want it to sound as best as possible. I do suggest you actually record the audio yourself with your own voice. But let's see what it sounds like with Texas speech. Here's the end result right here. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel. So not bad at all. Um, you know, the, the, the actual voice, I don't think sounds great, but it sounds okay. I think it works. I think what's really impressive about this though is the fact that the, the voice is linked up so well with the lips moving on this image, on this video that we created. That I think is the coolest part about this and the most amazing part of this. No matter how you end up using uh, the voice, whether it's text-to-speech or you actually upload your own, you'll end up with something like this. Now there are watermarks down here. There's just no way to avoid this on the free plans. That's one of the limitations of the free plans. So you will be stuck with that but you will still be able to use this just by clicking here where it says download. Now, once you have the video of your talking AI, you could make a very long video of it just talking at the camera the entire time, but that's not super compelling. You actually wanna add some other elements to your video to make it even better. So a free website that you can use to get stock video 
end to actually edit your video is something called CapCut. This is it right here. And again, link in the description of this video, a very easy, free online video editor. So you can come in here, click on create new and click on 16 by nine for YouTube. You'll end up on an editor that looks like this. You can then upload your AI generated video with the voice in it already. And then you can edit it. And you can also come in here to elements. You have all this free stock video that you can use and really create a very compelling, nice video that you can use for YouTube. So you see right here, I brought in the video. I added this little sticker on top that covers up some of the watermarks. And then I threw in some stock video in here as well. I mean, it doesn't really fit, but you get the idea of how easy this really is to use. And once you're done, you can download this and then upload this to YouTube. And once you get this process down, you'll be able to start making YouTube videos fairly quickly. You can do tutorials, product reviews, storytelling videos. There's really no limitation to this. And once your channel grows and begins to make more money, you can even outsource this entire process to create a fully automated faceless YouTube channel. And if you're going to try this yourself, make sure to check out the description below for all the resources I mentioned in this video. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.